Good afternoon, Interweb. Today is, um, shoot, I think it's uh, January 23rd, 2011. And just doing a small update here on uh, my car, Rowdy, the Audi uh, 90 Quattro. And um, so I've been looking at options on what to do as far as a drain for the turbocharger and I figured well what the hell you know since I had the uh, the stock 3B line I figured I'd try bolting it up and see what would happen and um, so far I, it's gonna be a tough fit I'm thinking that I'm probably gonna have to take the AC compressor and so normally that sits you know, normally uh, this bracket right here is for the AC compressor, and that's where that normally goes. So this is, that's kind of where the AC compressor sits. But I was able to pull it out far enough, and there's luckily, there's uh, enough slack in this, this hose here, uh, which runs over to the other side. But there's, there's enough slack in that hose so that I can pull it over. Um, and I'm thinking if I can get, if I can just uh, you know, fabricate some kind of extension for this guy here to push the whole assembly over, and I, I'm 90% sure I can make it fit. Um, I'm also thinking if I can take this to somebody, and I don't have a mandrel tube bender myself, but I was thinking, you know, if I could, uh, if I could get somebody to just, you know, tweak it over like a good 45 degrees or so, I think that would also that would also help and um, yeah I get to keep the fancy AC system and I don't have to mess with tapping the oil pan extension which would be nice um, yeah still waiting on the the head from the sheen shop um, which I am getting a, a 3B head um, it, the heat basically told me that I needed a valve job really bad, which was a little odd because I had the head into him, like, probably not even two, well, probably three months ago, and, um, they had him basically, you know, deck it and do a whole inspection, and he didn't mention anything to me then, but now it's an issue, so it's been a little bit longer wait than I would have liked, um, but I got all the head studs in, um, so that's that's good. Still kind of not sure what I'm going to do as far as a head gasket. I was asking around on Motor Geek, and um, apparently you can use the the stock multi-layer steel gasket that comes with the the 3B engines. The 7A normally just comes with a pressed um, fiber gasket, which is okay, but, you know, multi-layer, from what I've heard, multi-layer steel is always better, um, for most applications, I don't know, maybe there's some, some obscure application where, uh, pressed fiber would be better than the multi-layer steel, but, uh, yeah, I don't know, I've never heard of one. So, yeah, I, I have yet to see where the turbo is actually going to sit in here, and like I said, I, you know, my, my other big concern is it running into this line here, because the uh, that sucker, the bag of snakes, was sitting probably I don't know. I mean, it was it was close, and uh, yeah, I'm thinking the turbo might be a, even a little bit bigger. So that's that's going to be interesting. And uh, yeah, so I just got to wait until I get the head, and then I can start seeing where everything's going to go. And, uh, yeah, I, that's pretty much it. The only other thing is, um, this cool little guy here, my, uh, this is the water manifold for the 3B head, um, which, well, actually, this is, this is a, uh, one off, a uh, URS-6, um, and, uh, it's actually an AAN engine water manifold, however, um, I'm going to kind of bastardize it and chop the this thing off right here because 
if you look, it sits right on top of the power steering pump. So I'm going to have to chop that off and uh, stick another outlet on that side. I'll probably chop that guy off too. Uh, but i got to have somebody weld that up. The good news is, though, is I found a, a nozzle that's the right size. Because this one is a little bit bigger than the hose that comes out of the top of the radiator on the one that I have right now. And it's actually this guy right here. Um, it's off a, one of the old 10-valve naturally aspirated um, engines. And... Um, yeah, luckily it's the right size and and everything, so I, I'm probably just going to take it in and try and have somebody lop it off and weld it on there. And, um, yeah. Waiting on the machine shop. Well, till next time, hasta la vista.